So in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up and restore input profiles from Microsoft Flight Sims 2020. The purpose of this would be to have a local copy of your input profile. So if anything happens with the Steam server or you have to do a completely fresh install, um, you can save your control profiles and have them ready to import back into Microsoft Flight Sims um, without having to worry. This would also potentially allow you to share your profiles with somebody else as you could just send them the input profile. So all I'm doing right here is I'm creating two new profiles. Um, I'm just using the keyboard as an example. I made a copy of the default profile and called it profile of backup. And then I created a new profile that has no key bindings in it. All right, so I have created two profiles within Microsoft Flight Sims. I think this is the way to go. Um, and I'll show you how to access those files that we just created from within Microsoft Flight Sims. So I've shut Microsoft Flight Sims down. Now I'm going to Program Files, x86. We're going to go to Steam, then User Data, um, then your User ID, and then the folder for um, Flight Sims, which has got that number. You can see it at the top on the file path. And then inside, we got our three input profiles. I have one from uh, Hodus Warthog, um, and then I've got my two uh, keyboard profiles. So the, here's the one to back up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this backup to my desktop. So I'm just going to make a save as, so that I'll make a copy. I'm going to name it keyboard profile to backup or whatever. Um, there you go, backup keyboard profile. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. So this file now I can use to um, I can use to import a, uh, this profile back into Microsoft Flight Sims. All right, so here's my new keyboard profile that I made, and all it's got is a bunch of debug actions in there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete all of those because I don't need them. But you notice that when I do this, I'm going to leave the four header lines at the top. All right, you see those? So I'm gonna just take from the, the first line right there, I'm just gonna go through here and delete them. So I've left the header alone. The file name I've left alone. This is a file that we created from the Flight Sims user, user interface. So now I'm going to go to that file that I put on my desktop. This is the backup profile. And I'm going to copy everything except for those um, header lines. And so these are all the key bindings um, that we have on this keyboard profile. And there's a lot of them. Now, the reason you would do this, um, I guess, just for peace of mind, the reason I'm doing this is because I have. 12 simulators that I'm running in my simulator lab and if I make one change to a profile um, or a couple of changes it takes a really long time to update all of them so doing this is much faster for me. So I just pasted in those uh, key bindings into the new keyboard profile and I've saved it. So there they are. I'm going to close down my notepad and now I can open up Microsoft Flight Sims to double check that it worked. Now if it worked um, what we'll see is our new keyboard profile, which was previously empty, it didn't have any key bindings. Now that profile should be populated with all the key bindings from the profile that I um, backed up. So we'll see here, here's our new keyboard profile, <clears throat> and there are all the key bindings. You can see I've got assigned as my filter, so yes, all of those key bindings have been copied. Now I have tested this out on 12 simulators with the Logitech G Flight Pro and it worked for all of them. I created a, a master control scheme and then uploaded it to the other 11 computers and it worked great. So this seems to work for the Steam version. I don't know how to use or how to do this on the Microsoft Store version yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon.